Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use just a little bit of clever CSS to change the style of one word in the middle of a sentence in your Squarespace website. Now what we're going to do is we're actually going to use some code to change the color, the background, and the overall style of bold text and italic text in different types of text. We're going to isolate heading one, heading two, heading three, and normal paragraph text. I'm focusing on those four because those are available in Squarespace 7, the older version, as well as 7.1. So this tutorial is going to work for you no matter what version of Squarespace you're using. Now I am using my 7.1 demo site, but again, the codes are exactly the same. So let's go ahead and just hop in there and I'll show you how this one works. So here we are in my demo site and I'm going to scroll down to show you the examples I have here on this page. So I have heading one, heading two, heading three, and normal paragraph text with bold as well as italic inside the line right there. So what we're going to do is isolate that type of text with CSS. I'm going to hop into my custom CSS file and I'll show you exactly how we're going to do this. Okay. I'm going to click on design and then scroll down to custom CSS. Now my heading one text right here, that goes by the code name H1. Easy to remember, right? So I'm just going to type H1, but what we're going to do is isolate just the bold text. So if I scroll up here, I have my notes. Bold goes by the name strong. So I'm going to type the word strong, open up a curly bracket and say color green and check it out. The bold text for my H1 font is now green, but that's not the only thing that makes that piece of text stand out. The font weight is still bold. So I want to reset that. So it looks like everything else in that line and it's just green. So that green's the only difference there. So I'm going to add a semicolon after the word green and I'm going to say font weight normal. Now it reset itself to normal. We're good to go. You'll notice here in my notes, I added exclamation point important. If you don't see the change that you made, throw that in there. It's just a little footnote to make sure that the browser pays attention to what you're actually writing in your code there. So just a little, little bonus. You don't have to use it if it shows up, but you might want to if the change you add isn't visible right away. So anywho, let's talk about italic. That one goes by the code name EM. So all I have to do is replace the word strong with the letters EM. And now the italic text is green, but it's still italic. The font weight doesn't need to be changed, but the font style does. So I'm going to change this word weight to style and that'll reset my italic text so that it sits upright like the rest of the text in that particular line. So strong works with bold text. EM works with italics, italics, I should say. And then we scroll down here. We have heading two, heading three and normal paragraph text. You can use this trick in any type of text on your site, but those are just the four common ones for version seven and 7.1. So instead of H1, I can say H2. Instead of H3 or H2, I can say H3, and that'll change my heading three. You'll notice the italic down here is now green. And paragraph, that actually just goes by the letter P. So if I do that, there we go. And again, it's the same concept where instead of EM, I can say strong, and now it will apply to the bold text. But because we switched to bold, we want to reset that font weight instead of the font style. So I need to change this to font weight normal. Pretty neat, right? So you can do a lot more than just change the color as well. I want to encourage you to get a little creative with this one here. You can do fun things like uh, let's give it an interesting highlight background. Okay. I'm going to add a semicolon and I'll say background linear gradient. Uh, let's start by going to the bottom and we'll start transparent. That's the code for transparent there. And we'll say 50%. And then we'll say, um, how about purple 50%? And then I'll close that parentheses and check it out. Now it's got this funky little highlight to it. So that definitely looks terrible. You might want to pick other colors, but you get the concept. That's the important part. So the codes we just used today are listed in the description below. Don't forget to reset the font weight if it's bold and reset the font style if it's italicized. And I want to encourage you to get super creative this one. You can change the color, but you can do so much more. Give it a fun background or an interesting underline. You can definitely get creative with these codes using any type of text with this handy dandy little trick here. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learned something awesome. Again, codes are below. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. 
If you like this tutorial, you'll love my CSS cheat sheet. With over 30 pages of pro tips and code snippets specific for Squarespace, you can customize your site way beyond your design menu. Download your copy today at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.